hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial so in this video I'm going to show you what are the differences between CPUs cores and threads so are you ready let's get started so it has been a frequent source of confusion for those comparing or buying CPUs okay they actually never really explained what are the most differences between these two concepts and the most explanation that exists actually only gives us a rough idea or mix it up with other things but at the end the basic explanation is actually pretty simple so let's go into it so to better grasp the concept of CPUs cores and threads imagine a restaurant kitchen okay so the chefs or CPUs cores are responsible for preparing the dishes based on orders you can actually consider threads are orders they receive from waiters okay so the more chefs you have the more orders you can prepare at a given time okay meanwhile many chefs are not necessarily when there are not a large number of orders to process so similarly having more CPU scores can increase the speed of processing when multiple simultaneous threads are competing for attention okay so what is actually a CPU core so a core is a physical component contained within a physical CPU so the CPU performance will depends on number of cores and speed at which the individual cores can execute instructions so for example single core CPUs are rare these days with modern multi core processors dominating okay so multiple core processors are capable of dividing processes into subtasks within each subtask being executed simultaneously okay so this is also known as parallel execution because all the subtasks are executed in parallel okay so this is the basic definition of a core a thread is actually like a virtual component typically created by the operating system that helps the CPU to handle multiple tasks more efficiently okay so in simple terms a thread is a component of a process so one of the most commonly used analogies to think of the core as a person mouth and the thread as the hands okay so the mount does all the eating while the hands help organize the workload so think of a thread as the management system for feeding tasks to the core okay there is also a concept of hyper trading and multi trading because actually they are similar but slightly different concepts so hyper trading is a technology exclusive to intel cpus which tricks the operating system into believing there are multiple separate cpus present for example a dual core cpu with hyper trading will be seen by the operating system as four logical cpus and quad core cpu with the hyper trading will be seen as eight logical cpus or resulting in vastly improved system speed and performance okay so to the biggest actually difference between a core and a thread is that the cores are physical component where threads are virtual components so cores increase the amount of work that can be accomplished in a time while threads help organize and optimize that workload okay so when actually comparing different cpus consider the following factors first the number of cores 
so more cores generally mean better multitasking and improved performance for demanding applications. Second, number of threads. So more threads can lead to, in, to, be, to increased efficiency, especially when using application that can take advantage of multiple threads. Third, the clock speed. A higher clock speed usually results in faster performance, but also consider the impact of power consumption and the heat generation. Okay. Fourth, the cache size. So larger cache sizes can improve CPU's performance by reducing the time it takes to access frequently used data. And finally, the compatibility. Ensure the CPU is compatible with your existing hardware, such as the motherboard and memory. Okay. So as a conclusion, understanding CPUs, cores, and threads is crucial for making informed decision about technology investment. Okay. So by investing in the right CPU for your specific needs, you can optimize performance and maximize your return of investment. As the technology landscape continues to evolve, staying informed about advancement in CPUs, cores, and threads will be essentially in maintaining a competitive edge in your industry. Okay. So that was just a short video to give you an insight about uh, CPUs, cores, and threads, and how to distinguish between them. Okay, so if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like or comment. As always, I hope it has been informative for you, and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.